Let's start the live. Hey, how are you? My name's Ryan J. Happy Monday. All right. Um, I hope you're well. I hope things are, uh, everybody's happy, healthy. Um, you're mentally strong. Uh, yeah, just best, best wishes to everyone out there. All right, so this morning... So this morning I was um, I was contemplating on what to do with my live here. Hang on, what? Get that out of here. Oh, oh man, what to do with my live? All right, because the last three days when I've been going live, I kind of put together a little mini program of how to work from home right now with what's going on all right and so i went through a whole bunch of bullet points and you know kind of broke it down for how to work at home right now if you'd be open and interested to that or if you find yourself in like you already cleaned the house and you've cleaned the house so many times and now you're bored in the house and you're bored in the house board um those three lives were giving you information on how to work from home. So if you didn't catch it and you're interested in that, it's on my page down below. I also have them up on YouTube if you're uh, interested in that. Uh, if you are interested in the YouTube version, get in my DM um, and ask for my, uh, my, what would it be called? Well, my page or something, whatever. Uh, they're easily findable or they're just down in my scroll. So anyhow, so what I came up with, well, what if you don't want to work from home? What if, what if, uh, you're content with your job? Fantastic. What if you don't know? And there's this uneasy feeling about uh, the job now might be a time if, well, I'm assuming you have time to uh, update your resume. And if you don't have a resume, let's get one. Um, so like, I'll start this out basic, like, like resume 101. Cause there, I mean, there might be people out there that do not know what a resume is. They just got a job and have the job and you know, along they went. All right, totally cool. So what a resume is, it's generally one sheet of paper and it's a brief snapshot of who you are, education, a little bit of past work experience. Sometimes there's references like, you know, uh, people that you confide in and they confide in you and are references, good character references. So that's basically what a resume is. Oh, there's also spots for, like if you do good deeds and if you have a special skill set, you know, that's what a resume is. Now, um, I have a resume, resume worksheet here and the outline. Uh, if you'd like copies of this, you know, get in my DM, I'll like take a snapshot of it and send it on over to you. Um, so let's go through it like step by step and I'll give you my feedback as to how I see it playing out. All right, because there are some suggestions on here that might be a little bit different from your current situation and I think because the times are changing and the, let's face it times have changed that um, it might be a little bit more different to what to put on your resume than what's typically academically standard in the old era all right so Dues for a res resume. Do include your name 
address, phone number, and email address on your resume. Uh, I would have to say you don't need your address on there. All right, name, contact information. So, you know, your name, I go email address, then phone number. Uh, error free, don't have errors on your resume. All right, make sure you push the spell check and check it as you go, of course. Uh, list your skills and qualifications, all right, accomplishments, all right, good deeds you've done or special awards or if you were an Eagle Scout, you know, that holds high merit, anything that uh, holds some sort of social proof, throw that into your resume. Um, jobs, clubs, like uh, community service. Involvement with other students and committees. And then make sure that it looks clean, all right? Here's, here's what's key, I think. Brief, well-organized on the position what you're applying for, all right? So one or two sentences as to what you're applying for. <clears throat> oh, and here's another thing that wasn't on here. Um, and it's kind of like, all right, you're going to come up with your resume, yes. And it's going to have all that in there. But they're gu guaranteed going to check your social media. So they're going to check and check your I IG they're going to check definitely your Facebook. They're definitely going to, uh, depending on if, like, what profession it is, they're definitely going to check out your LinkedIn profile. So I would highly, I would highly recommend cleaning up your, your social media presence. Now, what do I mean by that? All right, let's, funny memes are cool, but let's get, rid of the obnoxious uh, offensive memes. Um, politics, you may have strong opinions about politics or religion. Uh, I would highly recommend taking that off your social media. Um, I don't basically being as PC politically correct as possible. You know, that would be my recommendation. All right, we're not trying to offend anybody here. Remember, the sole purpose of this is to get you a better paying job in a better paying position. So let's stack the cards in your favor. And sometimes uh, you might not think that your social media presence has any influence on the outside world. Well, it does, you know, I mean, Let's face it, we all stalk each other. That's just what normal people do. <laughs> Don'ts for a resume. All right, so that would kind of be, but all right, let's go to the don'ts. Don't include a picture of yourself. Okay, well, that makes sense, except for if it's like industry specific. So if you're a model, of course, you're going to have um, a picture of yourself, but that would be an exception. So no pictures on your resume of yourself or anything else, not your cat, not your dog, not the fish you caught last weekend. Let's not do that. All right. That's cool and all, but here's another exception for what that may entail. If you wanted that on your resume, so maybe you're a photojournalist or photography and you're looking for some sort of creative type work where uh, a picture makes sense. Other than that, if you're like a corporate guy and you want a desk job as an accountant or you know it's a bank position or something, something in that type of profession, yeah, leave your picture out of it. Don't use acronyms or abbreviations. 
Don't include personal information, height, weight, that sort of deal. Don't put your social security number and driver's license number on there. That's not necessary. Uh, race, you know, don't put that on there. Um, don't include personal pronouns such as I or we. All right. So, what should it look like? So, your name, your contact information, all right, so your email address, phone number, objective, why, why is this piece of paper sitting on the hiring manager's desk, summary, all right. Now, here's the interesting thing about the summary. When I would advise that uh, you keep this resume that you're updating in an easily, easily to change format because you would want it to be job specific for the position that you're applying for. So, yeah. There, it, your name's not going to change. Your email address isn't going to change. Your phone number is not going to change. But the objective might change. So don't make one resume to blast out to all the different companies. All right, let's niche it down. Niche it down. All right. So what you're ending up doing is being very, very specific to the apple or your resume is very very specific to the hired or the position that is being hired for all right making sense and when it comes to the objective i kind of i kind of liken that to uh the objective is going to be probably pretty much 80 percent of your resume right there 80% of your thought should go into the objective. Now, why, why that? Well, think of the objective as the headline on the newspaper that makes you open it up and read the article, or the headline on um, a Facebook post that actually stops your scroll, or whatever whatever on IG or LinkedIn where you stop your scroll and you're like, wait, let me read this. All right, so you stop your scroll because it caught your attention. So your objective would be to catch the attention of the hiring managers, um, catch the attention of the hiring manager. Now you do that with a clear, clean uh, summary. Now, what to put in the summary? I would make it, in the summary section, I would make it almost as, as like a sales copy letter. You know, you're trying to sell that person reading it, sell them on why they should hire you. So it's a sales letter inside of a resume all right follow me there any questions comments get at me i'll make sure to answer them oh and another thing if you do want copies of these you know and my resources uh, of course send me a message ask for them i'll shoot them on over to you so in the in the uh summary so we're going to make that as a sales letter type type wording. I would offer benefits of what you can do for them. All right. What value do you bring that you can immediately start to add to the position or company? You know, you're looking for what you, what you, can do for them not oh i've done this and i've done that and um uh 
I won the first place trophy in this event and I'm the uh, star over here at this community service and I'm the head of the uh, Rotary organization. All right, those that's cool, but what can you, what value can you bring to them? That will, that will grab their attention, all right? So you're selling yourself the new position that you're applying for. Making sense? Because, yes, you're great. You're phenomenal. And pat yourself on the back. That's awesome. But they don't care how great you are. They care about what you can do for them. All right, so yeah, I hope that makes sense. So 80% of your effort should be put into that summary on selling yourself. And then you got work experience. You know, you can go through there and like list the last three jobs. And then your duties performed. Um, I've seen, I've seen in the... Uh, I've seen it where the dates of the time worked don't really matter anymore. You know, fight me if I'm wrong, but you know, the dates of when you work there don't seem to really have any merit or matter. And if there was a long time of, well, and here's what it does. Let's say you were unemployed for six months somehow I don't know, whatever situation came up and you had a lapse in in uh, between one job and the other job well if you're throwing in the dates there then there is definitely a lapse in time and so maybe one of the questions would come up hey what happened during this six months time frame if you don't put the dates on there that never comes up or you know, maybe you took a sabbatical or, or uh, traveled the world or you, whatever, you know. So less, less is definitely more when it comes to your resume. Less is more, but the more part is definitely in the summary. Dial in that in. And... Yeah, that about that about uh, wraps it up, I believe. Yeah, so I hope this I hope this was helpful. I hope it provided some value or at least some sort of new perspective or outlook. If it did, give me a thumbs up and share it or something like that. Um, if if there's ever a point in time during one of my lives where uh, you want to give me some feedback, I'm always open to feedback and how I can do it better and bring you more value. You know, I'm always open to that. So uh, if you have suggestions, please, or criticism, please let me know. I take that into consideration. And uh, with that, like I said, if you want um, information on this and you want my copies, you know, get into my DM, write in the comments. I'll make sure I get it to you. Uh, if you're interested in working from home and you for, and you missed the last three days, they're in my scrolly scroll scroll on my page. Uh, with that, thank you very much for taking the time to pay attention to me. And uh, you make it a great day.